Hey folks, I'm Trevane Glory, and welcome to part 4 of my campaign as Orion in Total War Warhammer 2. Uh, so in the last part, we defeated the Broken Nose army that had come out to intercept us, and then pursued it back to Karak Buftar, defeated it again and took the settlement from them. Um, so that gives us one of the Heathlands, and it can contribute plus one per turn to the forest health. Uh, the plan next, I think, is to go and take Fester Spike. So what we'll do is probably use the Underway, or the, the World Roots, to get back to King's Glade. Gives a bit more replenishment next turn and also recruit the last three units that I need. Um, and then once we've done that, we'll head out and go in the Assault again. Um, so we're at the end of the turn, we may as well just move on. The Broken Nose still have an agent down here, but it looks like Clan Angrand might be going after them. Talia. Non-aggression pact. How about just a straight non-aggression pact? Okay. Uh, in terms of diplomacy, a forest encounter whispered in the woods. Rumours of a possible threat. Uh, Okay, can't do much about that until we get military access. Um, probably worth doing that, if I can afford it, before I recruit. Uh, so anyway, yeah, in terms of diplomacy, I want to try and keep uh, Clan Angrind on side. So that they don't come and retake or try and take Karak Buftar from us. Broken was down there now. Uh, and I'm also, at the moment, we have a trade agreement with Castle Carcassonne, but they're a Heathland, so we'll need to attack them eventually. So I want to try and confederate with the elfin factions uh, and then just probably make way anti clockwise around the forest, taking all the Heathlands. Then we'll see where we go from there. Right. Uh, so Broken News have sent their agent over here. Let's see if Throny Ironbrow finishes him off. I could detach my own agent. At least give him a bit of experience. I'm trying to think. He can't use a uh, World route, so you'd have to come around a long way. Um, right, I'll, I'll give it a try. I'm just, he might. I mean, we have to delay our attack and fester spike for a turn in terms of him getting around there, but we'll see. Let's for now send him out and try and assassinate Spinny Bogroff. Failure. But you did get the experience points you need. Um, I don't need either of them right now. I don't know what to do now that I've got the points. Maybe assault garrison. I think we'll use them to assault garrisons. And for the army itself, as I said, world roots, and you can get into King's Glade. You'll be just about full strength next turn. Can I recruit a lord though? Protector of the oak. Ah oh, yes. Hardly any money at all. Like range. I think we'll be going with the 
the first one we looked at there to get the extra range for the missile units. So Tala. Let's recruit you. Can I offer we get raised the banners. The malevolent nature of the tree spirits who lead your forces is accentuated uh, by you. Okay. Let's Can I offer assistance? Um Tala recruited. So I think we just no, before we disband you, can we put you into an office? We can. Plus fifteen percent ammunition, plus ten percent armor. We don't have war dancers or blade singers. We don't have much cav. I think I'll put her in Master of Supplies. Do that, and then we'll disband her. Puts us back into positive income as well. Okay. Uh, so everybody's moved now. Let's again check out diplomacy. Lord of the I don't think we're persist. anywhere near them. Clan Angrand. I am we'll keep an eye on that. And Talia. I don't suppose you want trade already. I am no. Parley. So we'll come back to that. Right. Uh, so now then, we can move on. Everything seems to be quiet. World Hunt begins. Ah, good. All office holders are now receiving additional effects from the Wild Hunt. We don't use the Deep Roots at the moment. Uh, you still give us the bonuses, I hope. We shall see. A uh, mission I should make a person disappear. Okay, if we come across them. No, we're not going to be doing that. Far too far away. So, uh, yep, they did. He did deal with that. Broken Nose Hero, I think. So you can just start making your way back up here. The army... Um, just leave it in Kingsglade for now. I can't get these guys to link up. No, actually, I tell you what. If we come out... Can you get here? No, you can't reach Fester Spike from King's Glade. If we move you out to around there, in normal stance, of course, hopefully you can reach Fester Spike from that spot. You still get the replenishment that you need, and we can also recruit, and we'll get another couple of Hagbane tips. Give us six of them, eight in total. Might as well go for eight. Yeah, eight and eight plus the calf and the hot riders. And we add in the hero to go with our hind. Yeah, that's us. And we should stay just in positive income as well. Okay, so we're done there. Tax in the province, we don't make any income anyway, so there's no point doing that. That helps out with public order. Currently running through diplomacy again. 
Deepwood protects its sons and daughters. Orders, you have been granted no. access. So, as I said, I want to try and confederate with all of the elven units or the elven factions. What? Um, that's probably going to take a long time. We might get some missions uh, that allow us to do that. I think that's a thing. But for now, we'll move on again. Uh, good clan Angrind, I suspect, took out the broken nose. My lady informs me Stalia, you want non aggression as well. Uh, yeah, let's just accept. I was going to see if they would also give me trade, but I don't know if we can trade actually, because we won't board them at all, so that's probably not going to happen. Got Vol the Maker. Uh, an extra plus 10 armor. Another mission I should. You definitely want me to go after the Redhorn tribe. And it would help relations with Torgovan, but they're just. If they come near us, we definitely will do that. But for now. So this is what I was thinking about earlier on. Can you still get. Or can you get in there? And can we still use under the world roots? We can. Excellent. And we can just get in here. So I do that. And this is no doubt occupied by Skaven. Did get plus one rank on these guys. Okay, so yeah, we don't make much money at all. We might have to make money out of raiding. Uh, down here, yeah, so Clan Angren did take that. The only potential issue is they might want to complete the province. Hopefully not. Uh, let's, not that, let's see if we can Improve their opinion of me at all. You called the woods of Athaloran welcome. Unlikely. Things are still improving though. So the broken nose stuff will obviously diminish over time. Uh, as will the beastmen, but we might see beastmen coming back. But if we get no other particular reason to dislike me in terms of treaties or trade agreements or anything, so Hopefully that will continue. Yes. Deliver your message. Right, still nothing to be done. Uh, okay then, so well, we can research. Additional forest health from winning battles. Um, I think I'd rather go with Luke the Tris Trickster. Yeah, we'll just take that for the Mystery Resistance. And now we move on. I don't know if the forest incursion up there has got a time limit. What are you interested in now? Military access. Um, hang on. Do we border them? No, it doesn't look like it. We can't get trade. I don't know if I want to give them military access. Let's reject that for now. I'm not looking to build up too strong relationships with the humans. 
excellent scheme. Okay. Um, and because who is it? Torgovan, I think. They don't like the treaties with Carcassonne, so don't want to be doing anything that will annoy them anymore. Trespasses against Clan Spittle. That's interesting. That suggests that this is held by Clan Spittle. Let's just go ahead and find out right now. Uh, normal stance. Investigate. Escape and revealed. And we declare war. And yes, Clan Spittle. Right. Uh, okay, so plenty of plague monks and some warp fire throwers. The garrison. Clarets, night runners, and some more slingers. Okay, so it may actually be a tough fight. Um, but we'll go ahead and fight it anyway. Uh, the other issue is that obviously they can spawn more clan rats in behind. So we need to keep an eye out for that. But anyway, let's go ahead and fight the battle. This isn't that, no. Okay, so nice wee hill there, but we're probably going to fight in the forest since we get all the bonuses. Actually, do all of my units get forest stalker? I know that you know, these guys do. So do they and the glade. Yep, okay. Everyone. Even the Wild Riders, everybody gets Forest Stalker. That's brilliant. Let's have you. And we'll set up back here. They don't have much in the way of, um, in fact I don't think we've got any cav of any sort of nature, but I'm going to pull these guys back to give a bit of flank cover. Orion can go in there. Um, yeah, let's have you lot as group one. So you'll provide flank cover and we'll have two lots of archers with you in the middle. And we've got to be entitled in that. Something more like that, almost. To get the, the benefit of the site beyond sight. And even that. Not everyone was getting the benefit there. So if we have you in here. How does that work? Right, so that's fine. All of the missile troops there. What is it they get extra 15% base missile damage? Is that how I want it to be? I'd rather get the missile troops around and behind. But I don't know if that would be possible. Um, we'll keep the cav back here to deal with any uh, clan rats that spawn behind us, and I'll put the 
upgrade those there just now. Uh, so they get the benefit from the plus 15% missile damage until I see a good target to send them after. Uh, so that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead. Guard. Charge defense versus large. It's not really any help. And accuracy benefits from fighting in forests as well. So definitely don't want to stand up in the open ground. What's that arranged? No, I'll wait until we get in closer before Orion uses his, bent, his abilities. There we go. So he pops right in there. They'll hopefully die quite quickly. But I'd forgotten about the scaven spells. They're not taking much damage. We're getting to a wee bit now. Can you reach them? You can. We'll reach them then. There we go. They're running. I think there may be some units over here. The first one is just running, the next one's appeared. Right. Uh, Hawk Riders. Go and attack those warp fire throwers. And let's have you come out here. You go and attack them. You go after them. You can come into this flank here as well. You come in there too. You go and attack back there. Right, I uh, still can't use any of your abilities. You've got this now. Um, yeah, target them. If you would. Can you drop up there, support the cav? Um, you come in here, attack them. No, in fact, you come up there, you turn and attack them in the back. That's better, let's pop that in here. With that for desserts. And you turn and start shooting them. Good, they're off. You come back in here. You charge them. These guys have gone. Let's go and view up here at the double. You go after them. When you come and charge in there. In fact, I think what I want our archers to do is come down there. Orion still can't use your abilities. You. No, you attack into there. Orion, you should really be targeting him, as should you. You go back, see them off again. You're coming down. Around to there. 
It's not shutting while you move. You standing there taking damage, it's not very smart. Can you come back here? Put some attacking in. You guys go into skirmish mode. And I think you've run them off for good now, so you come back down here. Orion. Bad guys there. Go for them again. Keep attacking him. In fact, you can you shoot him with that? Probably too close. Um, you guys. Uh, start mobbing him. These guys are all running. Let's review. You've got no ammo left. Just come after him as well. Well, Raiders, I don't know where you are, but the Lord's gone. So that's the end of the battle, just about. That'll do. That wasn't too bad. Uh, Uh, spear infantry um, don't you take any damage from friendly fire I don't want to lose you with your shields let's end the battle um, I'm worried that we lose them we might lose them as well Everybody else is in good shape. Some good kills in here. Right, didn't do badly either. No, we're actually okay. A good income. And a berserker sword. I suppose that would be okay for Orion. He does get into melee combat eventually. Um, again, no, I think I'll occupy the Heathland. Although we can't do an awful lot with it. Um, uh, yeah, we can't do much with it. But I think it's better to possess it. Again, do I go with the Monod Root Pathway? Yeah. Range of minus 5% construction cost for all buildings and adjacent provinces. No, let's just go with the world route pathway again. Uh, forgotten what was doing here. Go with piercing thorns next. I think that was a plan. Yeah, last time out we took possessed by the trickster god. So I think I want additional melee attack for now for the guard the dryads if we ever get them and that's going to obviously make our way up towards these things eventually and i think we just leave the army as it is i'm not going to merge up any units so Got money, but nothing really to spend on for now. Another few tons before we get that. Uh, I 
nothing down there. So again, a quick look at what do you need? diplomacy now. Yeah, you like to mill checks against Clan Spittle, so hopefully that will move us up towards trade. Down here, yeah, you like to a wee bit as well. Step forth, true friend of what? Deliver your message. Right. Okay. So nothing's happening there. Okay. Well, I'm going to put in a break here, and we'll pick this up again next time out. I think we'll be going up to Karak Norn once we're, our army's recovered. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And hope to see you again next time. Cheers.